Hello everyone and welcome once again to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe if you're new around here and today we are back with some more OCR FSMQ new specification content and today we are talking about tangents and normals. So the learning objective today is to name the equation of tangents and normals uh, to curves using the line equation and differentiation which uh, if you don't know what differentiation is go and check out the last lesson because that is where we introduced it. So, uh, here's a little reminder. If not, though, as long as you have the name of a graph, you can perform uh, the piece of maths known as differentiation or taking the derivative or, in work as language, the gradient finder. We want the gradient finder so we can find gradients, funnily enough. So, to differentiate a piece of algebra, if you have got the, the curve y equals ax to the n, then dy by dx, which is our gradient finder, is equal to n a x to the n minus 1. So basically what you do is bring the power to the front and knock 1 off the power. So, example 1 then. The graph of y equals x squared plus 3x minus, n, uh, minus 9 sorry, is shown. Name the tangent at the point 3 minus 9. So we need um, two things to... Uh, name a line we need a point and the uh, the, the gradient and, and one thing we don't have is the gradient so what we're gonna have to do is use the gradient finder or differentiate that piece of algebra so there you go to name a line we need uh, the gradient and a point on the line so uh, first of all we have our equation y equals x squared plus 3x minus 9 dy by dx is bring the power to the front knock one off the power so we get 2x plus 3 so that is the gradient finder we are given a point 3 9 so the gradient at that point is when you plug uh, x equals 3 into dy by dx so we get uh, 9 so it's because it's 2 times 3 plus 3 which is uh, 9 so we now have our point and our gradient and if you go all the way back to I think uh, lesson 4 in this playlist uh, we, we know the equation of a line is uh, y minus b equals mx minus a so we put in our coordinates and our gradient so we get y minus 9 equals 9 times x minus 3 we expand the brackets to get that and then we take the 9 over the other side so that line there is y equals 9x minus 18 so there you go that is the tangent to uh, the the curve y equals x squared plus 3x minus 9 at the point uh, 3 9 example 2 then find the equation of the tangent to y equals uh, 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7 at the point where x equals minus 2 so to name a line, we need uh, the, the gradient and the point on a line. So we know that y equals 2x cubed plus uh, 3x squared minus 9. So if x is minus 2, then we plug a minus 2 into there to get our y coordinate. So if you do that, you get a minus 11. So our point is therefore minus 2, minus 11. So we've got our point. We've ticked, uh, ticked that one off can we get the gradient well yes we can we know we've got something named the gradient finder so we take dy by dx of that function y equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 7 so you get 6x squared plus 6x we have our x coordinate minus 2 so we plug that in uh, for the gradient finder so we get 24 minus 12 which is 12 so we've got our point we've got our gradient we now use y minus b equals mx minus a and uh, plug in the number so you get y minus minus 11 is equal to 12 times x minus minus 2 so sort out your double negatives first then expand then tidy up and you get y equals 12x plus 17 Next then, uh, you, we have uh, an example of an, finding a normal, so the graph 
of y equals x squared plus 3x minus 9 is shown. Uh, so this is the one that we had in example 1, but this time we want uh, the, the normal at the point 3 minus 9. So you can see this line here is perpendicular to the tangent, so that is what a normal is. It is a line that um, is perpendicular to uh, the tangent. So we want the normal at the point of 3, 9. So uh, a normal meets a tangent at 90 degrees, so their gradients have a relationship. Now remember what perpendicular gradients are. I think we talked about that in lesson 2 of the playlist when we talked about the gradient of a line. So um, we'll come, come on to that in a minute. Uh, so first we've got to find this gradient. So dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 3 as before. We've got an x coordinate of 3, so we stick that in and we get um, a, 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 the gradient of the tangent to be 9, but this normal is perpendicular to it. So we need to take the negative reciprocal of 9 to get the gradient of the normal. So it's going to be minus a ninth. If you don't understand that, then go back and uh, watch the gradient of a line lesson that we did. So we've got the point 3 minus 9, we've got the gradient of a ninth. Uh, so we stick it in uh, y minus b equals mx minus a. So we get y minus 9 is equal to minus a ninth times x minus 3. First thing I would do there is times everything by 9. So we get 9y minus 81 is equal to minus 1 times x minus 3. So 9y minus 81 is equal to minus x plus 3. So 9y plus x equals 84. And that's the equation of the normal uh, at the point 3, 9 for that particular curve. Now you could go further and divide everything by 9 again and uh, get the x on the other side. But if the examiner doesn't ask for it, don't you know go overkill on it. Just leave it in that form. And jobs are good. And so that is that for tangents and normals. If you found this lesson helpful, then make sure you leave a like down below. If not, then let me know down in the comments what I can do to improve. And yeah, hopefully you're having a wonderful day and a very best of luck for your FSMQ. Thank you very much for watching.